Hey everybody, welcome back to the Movie Couple channel. I'm Wendy and I am here to give you my review on the Assassin's Creed movie. So this movie is based on the popular game Assassin's Creed and in this movie, through a revolutionary technology that is the Animus, it unlocks uh, Caelan Lynch's genetic memories so he can experience the adventure of his ancestors, Aguilar. So if you all play the game, you all love the game, I bet you're pretty excited about this movie. For me, I did not play all of the games. I played the first one, but I didn't finish it. So um, I hope you're not judging my review based on my knowledge of the game because keep in mind that there will be general audience who go to this movie that's not laid a finger on this game. So we have to kind of think of more of a, a generalized uh, opinion in, in a sense. This movie, well, I'll just say this. The game is superior to the film. I was disappointed. I was looking forward to it. This last trailer that they put out, I was really impressed by it. Um, and I thought this movie was going to have a chance. This is going to be the video game movie, you know, to break the curse, if you will. And, and it, n nope, it just, I was completely let down. When you hear Assassin's Creed, whether or not you play the game, you think hooded figure, parkour, Stealth Assassins. I would say this film spent the majority of its time inside the Animus uh, showing off the technology of the Animus as opposed to being in 1492 and showing Michael Fassbender as Aguilar the Assassin. The action pieces, while they look great, you couldn't really keep your attention on it because they kept cutting away and they kept on cutting back into present time and Michael Fassbender's character performing these stunt moves in present time while he is attached to the Animus. I don't understand why they chose to do that because any time the movie brought us back to 1492, I was pulled in and I was engaged and I was excited to watch them flip from roof to roof and walk on, you know, the ledges of the walls and do what they do. But they kept on cutting away and immediately that pulls you out of it. So I don't understand that choice. But I will say my positive for the film is the action pieces and the overall looks of all the assassins and their hooded figure. The weapons look great. It was all very detailed. And that's kind of the only positives I have to say about this movie. I couldn't bring myself to connect with any of the characters in this film. I don't feel that they gave us enough backstory for uh, Caelan Lynch, Michael Fassbender's character. They really didn't give us much else on Jeremy Irons or uh, Marianne Cotillard's character. And they also didn't allow our, our main character to interact with the other people that are at the facility and it just it was just any sort of chemistry was completely absent in this movie and it made it really hard for me to even care about any of the characters whether they lived or die whether they're good or bad I thought the movie opened pretty strong and then right after that opening scene they cut to this very jarring rock and roll music and it was so sudden like I was into it and then it's like just kidding we're gonna rock out with rock music and it just didn't go with what we had just saw merely a second ago I just feel like this movie the direction the action scenes the characters their motivations the dialogue was really all over the place and you can I hope you can understand my disappointment I mean guys this is Assassin's Creed it's one of the biggest game franchises out there I sat in the theater at one point and I thought to myself what am I watching so unfortunately this isn't going to be a long review uh, I don't want to put too much spoiler in this one just in case anyone wanted to give this film You know some people will probably still want to see it in theater, but um, I was disappointed by it. I, I It just wasn't a good movie <laughs> and I'm so sorry um, You probably want to know my score 
And also, if you're looking for spoilers, um, go to the Collider Videos YouTube channel and you will find me, John, Dennis, and Perry giving our full spoiler review and our scores on the movie, so go ahead and look out for that. So back to the score that I'm going to give this film. Despite what they tried to do with the action scenes and how it could have been great had they not kept on cutting away from the greatness that was happening um, and the inconsistency of the characters and the dialogue and the story, I am going to give this movie a 3 out of 10. Well, there you guys. That's it. That's my review for Assassin's Creed. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next video.